What's up guys? So I am here bright and early. It is seven in the morning. I'm kind of surprised. I came here an hour early just in case. I normally don't like waiting, but I just wanted to grab SpongeBob and go home because I'm freaking tired. So um only had like four hours of sleep, three, three and a half, something like that. So I mean I'm at Target over there. Um I'm kind of surprised there's no one here. I thought there would be like a couple people here. That's why I was like Maybe I should uh, come here a little early, but now I'm here an hour early and there's nobody here. I guess these are not as highly wanted as I thought, so that's fun. I didn't even shave this morning, but yeah, so um, I'm excited. Um, you guys voted for me to get the SpongeBob, unbox it, and then return it, saying it's not a 10-inch. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to take that reason, so I don't know if I can go with that reason. I just thought it was pretty funny, but uh, I got people looking at me, but... Um, yeah, I, I honestly wanted to unbox it purely because of the eight inch factor. And I want to measure it myself and compare it to a six inch pop because it looks as big as a six inch pop. So it just has me kind of confused, but yeah, so, um, I can't wait to get it. It should be available today. Today should be the 28th. Um, I'm kind of surprised nobody's here. I'm, I'm really surprised given there's a Spider-Man Far From Home exclusive. We got, I think Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and that, uh, I get her Lady Armstrong, her whatever her name is. Um, I call her Lady Armstrong. But anyways, let's uh, let's see what I can get. Before I go into Target, I wanted to share my experience at Chick-fil-A. So um, I was like, I went up to the window finally. It took like 10, 15 minutes because <clears throat> there were so many people. And I was like, all right. <clears throat> so you said, Johnson. I was like, no, not Johnson. No, sorry. I um, He goes, what's the name? I said, no, he finally said, what's your name? After looking at the screen for a second, I'm just like, how, how are you going to look at the screen and know who I am? Will you just ask me? And then he says, uh, Dante. I'm like, or I said, Dante. He goes, okay, no. And then he, no, 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 no. I said, Dante. And then he goes, Johnson. I was like, I just said no to Johnson the first time. If, if you didn't hear me properly on saying Dante, why was Johnson your first go-to? I said no to Johnson. So why was Johnson his first answer? Dante. Johnson? No no okay so yeah that i've had enough human interaction today so i'm gonna I'm go into target i'm gonna buy spongebob and i'm gonna leave and go back home where it's safe okay guys so i got spongebob in his all eight inch ten inch glory um he has a slice down the box so i got a messed up box on purpose just because i don't think i'm gonna end up keeping him so they also didn't print me a receipt so i have to go to customer service then i'm gonna go home unbox this bad boy and we're gonna see what he looks like out of box okay guys it took me like five to ten minutes to get my receipt but i finally got it we got spongebob let's go home he's all locked and loaded has his seatbelt on let's go home let's unbox this bad boy and then he has that big slice on the top that I don't like at all. We got SpongeBob, and I got a little table here. I figured this was kind of nice to do versus um, doing one of the, uh, or doing the black table where I'm low on the ground. I like kind of standing up. I feel like maybe I might do my unboxings like this more. I feel like this might be cool. Um, so unfortunately, he does have a slice down the side. There, some little corner damage here. And um, I think there was one other spot. Oh, he was kind of like ripped down here. And then it took me about five to 10 minutes to get my receipt. So I have the receipt. <laughs> I mean, I was going to return this anyways. I just want to unbox it because we did the poll and it's like, oh, let's let's return it and say it's not actually 10 inches because I can see the two inches that's missing right there on top. Um, and then it has this huge slice down it. And as a box collector, like I can't deal with the slice. I can deal with some creases, but a slice so blatant. Eh. Plus, where am I gonna put a 10 inch SpongeBob pop? Or my bad, eight inch, it has 10 inch in the box. So let's get this bad boy open. Um, I can't wait, this table's a little wobbly, so keep it. it's not exactly the most stable because it's part of a desk. It, it's kind of rigged over here, so. So let's take that out. I like the bikini bottom background in the back though. I think it's really, really cool. So I figured this, if you guys like doing it this way or me at my desk or on the table, just tell me your preference down below. Down below. I kind of like this one because I feel like this is more open. I can stand up and talk to you guys. So, so uh, let's take this out of the box. The last 10 inch pop I had was, um, I had Scrooge McDuck and then I had the T-Rex and uh, Dobby. So this is definitely, this is the last 10 inch pop uh, I'll probably ever get, who knows? Depending if they make any Dragon Ball Z ones, I'm not sure. So that's what he looks like in the plastic. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Love that. Oh man, 
Oh my god. It looks like cheese. Anybody think he's made out of a real sponge? Who knows? Look at SpongeBob. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at his head. He, he literally looks like cheese. <laughs> Love it so much. Oh, it's, so, it's actually kind of cool. But $32 for this? It's not even entirely uh, 10 inches. And then get his bottomless feet. Does it have the Funko thing on it? Yep, Funko 2019. That's really, really cool. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! So I also, I wanted to compare him being eight inches to one of my six inch pops. So we're just gonna grab, we're gonna grab grade eight Vegeta. And we're gonna compare him. I don't have a 10 inch pop to compare him to. And I promise I'm gonna change the smoke detector, okay? I know it's there. I just, I haven't gotten around to getting a battery for it. And people keep asking me. So let's compare him to a six inch pop. He's actually pretty big compared to a six inch pop. Look at that. Just comparing him. Maybe I sh should I do a video comparing 10 inch to eight inch to six inch to four inch pops? And then maybe do min minis. That might be cool. So here, I have this uh, Spider-Man prop right here. And they unfortunately, they had all the um, history exclusives, but they did not have the Spider-Man exclusive. So I wasn't able to grab that one. I was just going to grab it for trade bait. I have these these two left over from um, Spider-Man. Uh, um, only because I couldn't return them to Books A Million. I ran out of time. So I just want to compare the four-inch pops. Wow, look at that. That is freaking, the size comparison on that is insane. So this is four inch, this is six inch, and we're not counting width, I guess, but I guess we should count width too, right? So we got four inch, six inch, and eight inch, and then I need a 10 inch pop, that sucks, I don't have it. But this is really, really cool to compare them in size. Um, oh my God, SpongeBob will literally beat up grade eight Vegeta here. <laughs> oh my God, this is so silly. But yeah, um, I love the detail on SpongeBob. I think it's really, really good. Just to show you guys one more time. Love the detail. Ah, I love it. Did his tie go over that um one in the show like that? Did it go over the black dash like that in the show? It's been a while since I've seen SpongeBob, so I didn't know they were still continuing to make episodes. My brother told me. So I'm going to bring it a little closer for you guys to see. But look at him. Look at the detail. I'm kind of doing it backwards, so... Excuse me if I'm doing it wrong, but look at that. He looks like cheese. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, let me bring it this way. There we go. The feet. I'll give you guys a big... Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys some up-close, like, looks at certain areas. Like, meaning, like, little areas where you can notice where it wasn't, like, all the way put together, I guess. I don't know. Like, you see his eyes... Got his eyes and his like pants here. I guess just a kind of a rough paint job around the edges a little bit. But overall, he's really good shape. Like there you can notice. And you can see where they put the pieces together. But yeah, overall the paint job's not terrible. But there's some spots that could be better. But overall, I think it's a really, really nice pop. And it's very adorable as well. Not, I don't really dig his tongue too much on how it looks. But I love the teeth. I love the big smile. I love how happy he is. It shows just SpongeBob's personality. I love his shiny little shoes. I love his socks. I love the whole pop. I really do. <laughs> That's great. I love it so much. So yeah, guys. So I, I mean, I kind of did more in this video than I was expecting. An uh, 8-inch SpongeBob. He is not 10 inch, in fact, only his insert is 10 inches, as you can see. Um, that's kind of lame, to be honest. I should have gotten 20% off <laughs> for those two inches, but that's okay. I don't I don't think I plan to keep him. I don't know, I'm kind of debating it now, just because taking him out now, this is why I can't unbox Pops, guys. He's such a cool Pop, oh my gosh. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and little review on him. Tell me down below what is your favorite moment from Spongebob and if you're going to grab this pop because it is actually really cool in person for an 8-inch um, pop. So this is our first official 8-inch pop. We have 9-inch pops. I don't think we have any 7-inch ones, but we have 6, 4, and um, 10. So yeah, definitely really, really cool. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Say bye to Spongebob. 
SpongeBob SquarePants. See you guys later. Bye.